the question was distractions procrastination until last minute especially on weekends when i'm bored or want to postpone things i know they need to be done and i distract myself by eating or doing something other um, that's not serving the purpose how to overcome uh, so a couple of things i would say is you know we might think it's about motivation like the motivation to do it and you could say maybe like that could be a question underneath the question how do i motivate myself when i'm you know procrastinating maybe so i'm guessing a like an, a question underneath the question here and as far as like our human nature you know our the way our brains are wired you know our mind is wired um, we're generally either drawn towards something or we are moving away from something right so that's generally how our minds like to work away from or towards and for some of us you could say our motivation is towards like i'm um you know generally more big picture thinking and i'm a, you could say a visionary so i generally am more drawn to a vision of how things could be and if you try and um motivate me influence me by pushing me away from pain then it generally doesn't work you know but if you can help me connect with a vision that i have um then i'm generally kind of just drawn to it you know the energy of that vision i'm, I'm pulled towards it um for some of you that might sound quite odd because you're like i'm not drawn towards a vision i need to kind of push myself away from some kind of pain basically <laughs> which is not wrong, right? It's just kind of how some of us are wired and some of us like it's a combination. So for some of you, it might be that you would need to motivate yourself away from pain. So the pain might be if that thing was not done, then what would be the repercussions of that? Um, when someone tries to sell me on the repercussions on things, I'm not interested. <laughs> because I'm drawn towards something, right? So generally, anyone, does that, who here is kind of more towards, anyone? Okay, and then who's away from, would you say? Like just a rough guess on how your mind works. Okay, and then who's like a bit of both? <laughs> a bit of both towards, but then also you need the away from. So you can use these to help you. And then another way I would say is, um, recently I've kind of, you know, in a way been, <laughs> reinventing myself to the next version of me this year has been quite a bit of that that's been my journey um and so again like connecting with the vision right so for me it was like creating the vision of the future me that i am wanting to call forth the future that i'm wanting you know i'm wanting to create for myself and what it would take for me to get to that place within myself so let's say a certain level of fitness, a certain level of health. Um, you know, in my business, I want to kind of turn things around and grow it even more. Um, you know, certain relationships, you know, near and far um, that I'm wanting to heal or develop and grow. Um, so just to give some examples and, you know, like what are the steps that are required? So if I think about um one of the things from a fitness point of view um is that you know i never really uh went to the gym or lifted weights i just did it back in the day when i was training uh, as an athlete and we used to kind of do more like circuit training a bit of weights but mostly circuit training but now um i do you know i've started going to the gym this year and um it's been an interesting journey and you know like i went to the gym today and um don't generally feel like wanting to go <laughs> and sometimes you know there's a lot of steps seems like there's a lot of steps it's like oh i need to finish that i need to put this together i need to prepare that i need to do that and it's like keep taking one more small step in the direction of getting that thing done right so sometimes getting that thing done that you're procrastinating on might have several steps or stages or parts to it you know, so how can you actually just get started with the smallest part? And this is another thing you've probably heard me say many, many times. You know, break it down into the smallest chunk, the smallest thing that you can manage, and then do that 
immediately, like as immediately as possible. So it could be like, you know, you've got, you've just woken up and, you know, the first thought in the mind is like, oh, just, you know, shit, today's the day I said I'll go to the gym or I'll get on a mat. And you know that, you know, probably from experience, having experienced it many times, that the mind is going to then continue to stack those kinds of thoughts on top of, you know, it, itself so that the emotions that you're going to feel from, the, you know, those thought patterns is very quickly like, I should just stay in bed. It's cold. I'll just pull the blanket over. Let me just stay here for a little bit more. Another five minutes, another half an hour. And that's the moment, you know, you want to interrupt that train of thought, right? Interrupt that train straight away by, okay, just throw the, throw the sheets away, right? So straight away, it's like, okay, you feel some cold. <laughs> and it's like, ah, that's annoying. Like, okay, now just get the upper body up, like get up. Right. And it's like, all right, take the first leg out of the bed, take the second leg out and like get on your feet, like stand up. And it's like, ah, the floor is cold, the room is cold or whatever it is. Like, you know, if in I think most of us in the Northern Hemisphere. So, right. It's like, ah, that sucks. That's annoying. That's irritating. It's annoying me. But it's like I'm one step closer to, let's say, getting to the gym today. <laughs> Right, and the next step, it's like, okay, you need to do whatever, right? Go to the bathroom, get changed, whatever. And it's like minimum number of steps for you to get to that thing and get it done. And so often, one of the ways we, you know, procrastinate or distract ourselves is that we do a lot of things that don't really, so to speak, move the needle, we do this in all areas of our lives, you know, same thing with business as well. Like, you know, those of you who run a business, we do a lot of little things that kind of give us the quick hit, like, you know, like a quick dopamine hit, a quick high of like, oh, I ticked something off my list, right? I did one more thing off my list. And it's like, we're doing lots of little things that actually doesn't really add up. It just keeps you in the same place as you were yesterday, last week, last year, you know, it's not really moving the needle forward, so to speak. Whereas, you know, there's certain things that you've committed to, you know, you want certain results. So if you reverse engineer the results, you know, it equates to a lot of steps like, okay, on these days, you know, or this many times, I need to get on the mat, or I need to get to the gym, or I need to be doing this thing. And it's normally the thing that we resist the most, <laughs> right? And that's where our growth is that's where the transformation is that's where the new you right like that future you lives <laughs> you could say on the other side of that resistance you know on the on the other side of that procrastination because whatever you know our nervous system is you know it's going to keep us in what feels comfortable because comfortable is predictable and predictable means safe and safe means you might survive. So remember, our nervous system is always wired for survival, even in the smallest ways. So it is training an emotional muscle, talk about, you know, working out, we're training an emotional muscle of doing the thing that feels uncomfortable, feels, you know, difficult, feels out of your character, right? It's not in your realm of what is normal because what is in the realm of your normal has already given you the results you've gotten. So to get new results, you have to do different things which will be outside of what you're comfortable with, meaning it's in the outside of the comfort zone. I mean, it's uncomfortable, right? It's unreasonable. You cannot achieve something new from being reasonable, from being comfortable. Like you have to get unreasonable with yourself. And we are now in a time, like for a while now, you know, as humanity, it's like, you know, we are, we've just kind of cushioned ourselves and we don't want to feel any discomfort. Right, previous generations, like generations before us, they came out of, what was it, like World War II and recovering from that. You know, so there was no time to sit and feel things. It was like, get shit done, rebuild, right? Get moving, which had its repercussions 
we have now gone to the other extreme where we don't want to feel any discomfort. You know, but when there isn't that kind of, you could say, um, pressure or, or discomfort um, or friction within ourselves, nothing new can be created. We're just going to keep getting the same thing. So to summarize, you know, how do you get out of procrastination? I would say use those away from, towards, right? You could say motivation um, and uh, line it up with your values and also your vision for yourself and what you want to create for yourself and who, the who, right? The you, the future you that you're wanting to call forth and create um, and reverse engineer that into the smallest step today or this week and take that very first step in the most immediate you know um, instance of time whatever that may be you know and you've gone through let's say Miriam like you know applying for jobs it wasn't comfortable it wasn't easy but then once you started to do one you start to do a few more and it's like okay it's a little bit more comfortable it's not the most comfortable thing maybe but the more you do it the more comfortable you will get and that's how we get comfortable with something it's like we just do it a lot you know do lots of reps so to speak repetitions hope that helps <laughs>